Hello, hello, everybody. And we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. Last time, I do believe... Ba ba ba. I, the post game is starting to blend together. But I do know that we got to the end of, like, one. I think it was... Ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, Manaphy, I believe. The, 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 the fucking game stole my child. And then... Team Charm showed up. Which is just a nice little bit of continuity to me. And now we're going to be heading towards... The Aegis Cave, I believe it was called. Yep, there it is. We didn't even fight... Manaphy, we saved Manaphy, and then the game is like, maha, <laughs> lost forever, how dare you. We'll not be here long, well, still thank you very much for spending some time here with us today. We'll have to go through, make sure our inventory is nice and good, because we need to head to Edges Heaven and see what hell is there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is where the unknown riddles are gonna be. Oh. Once again, the plan is, in if I have trouble re-deciphering the unknown runes, I'll look up basically a normal alphabet guide for unknown and see if I can decipher it properly that way. Yeah, just normal. Still kind of ominous that that group there was like, Oh yeah, we're never going to come here again. <laughs> just oh so ominous. Like what is th Are they just gonna die? We're gonna have to go and drink those at the Spinda Cafe. thing is, like, I have so much, so many things in my, my, I guess I don't really need a stun seed. Totter is decent. Hmm. Maybe I don't need as many pure seeds. Yeah, I don't need as many pure seeds, but I'll have one for an emergency, and I'll keep the two petrify orbs. Uh, maybe one less apple. We've uh, we haven't needed as many apples in the past for some reason. I do believe store. Yes. Let's see, is there anything here? <laughs> be ready to beat up a lot of letters. That would actually be funny if we have to beat up unknowns to then be able to spell out the answer. We'll take some gummies and but leave one blue gummy for the boy as a memento. For some reason, that slip seed seems like something that would exist. Da, 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 da. Yep. Do you believe that's really old? Thank you, Mama Kangaskhan. I forget if we checked Krogunk or not. Wait a minute. I'm a double fool. Because if I do believe... One second. Because if I'm absolutely positively... I do believe that I mixed up what I was, uh, my plan was. This was the plan. Safe state that we're going to be right here to begin things. Yes, that was it. Because I thought this was a nice stopping point. Now we can talk to everybody. Uh, I would love to go to... But Loudred is all set and raring to go. He's beat me to the punch. I'll just stay behind at the guild to look after the sentry post. How does the sentry post work if there's only one guy? Because you're there to look up, analyze the feet, and tell Loudred what's going on. And then he does things. Whoa! I can go explore the awesome celebs of Team Charm! It's like a dream! What? Sentry duty? Who gives a yippee This is way more important! Of course he'd say that. Oh, I get to explore with the lovely women of Team Charm, by gosh. 
if the women of Team Charm notice me, or praise me with looking good, or if they think I'm cute or something. But golly. He's a simp. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! And he's just going crazy. Yippee! I mean, yip, yippee! Everyone's super happy. <laughs> My goodness, everyone gets so smitten by celebrity. Squawk, if only I could get so silly too. Very well then, squawk, don't, don't say it. I shall remain here and tend to the guild while everyone else explores. I really want to go too. These poor fools. Yay, yay. Perfect apple, perfect apple. Simple little man. Meh, <laughs> Team Charm doesn't interest me. This here is what interests me. It's all I care about. I love doing swaps more than anything. <laughs> and do you have any swaps that actually interest me? Baltiac Rock? What's that? Perlectivire. Stream Charm. Azumarill. An Emit Fang, which I do... Oh no, Emit Ring. Which is something that maybe we want? But I think we already have an Emit Ring. And just like, once again, nothing for me, the dark type. Profound Sednus. Hello, hello! <laughs> Diglett just tells everyone the guild is closed? Probably. Well, I guess they could still come t to this area to look up jobs. I want to thank you for helping me. Oh, the one time I bust into your stream freaking out. Nah, no problem. No problem whatsoever. What? Team Charm came here? And they just left. I blew it. I should have hit them up for autographs. And then he could sell it on Pokemon eBay. Surely a Polipper would be able to carry a package. That's just a letter. Once again, we have to go manage our inventory again. Oh, hey. The, the people changed. Oh, Team Charm came visiting. Where? Where? I went to meet Team Charm and got their autographs. Oh, wow. How nice. Oh, <laughs> they just say the same thing. The monsters. <laughs> I'm playing, trying to catch up to you, and I just got to the Tree Shroud Forest for the uh, Time Gear theft. Wow. I'm wondering... <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine how many hours ago that is. Their exploration team's even more famous than Team Charm. The most famous would have to be Team Raider. And who is Team Raider? I've never heard of them. Oh, Team Charm was here? Team Raider is a legendary exploration team. The team consists of three members, Gallade, Roserade, and Rhyperior. They're s said to never be denied from getting the treasure they target. But that's literally, like, Team Charm's gimmick. They get all the treasure they set their minds to. Or did their ranking drop because they didn't steal the time gear that one time? What? You say Team Charm paid a visit to the guild? Oh, I should have gone to the guild. I'm a huge fan of Team Charm. I think everyone is. Oh, dang it. Uh, you're saying things and I wasn't even paying attention because usually you don't have anything to say. Sorry, sorry Mama Kangaskhan, but you, you usually don't have anything to say. I mean, what is so special about Team Charm, I ask you? And I, already, I only got the end bit because I'm a fool. But again, <laughs> Mama Kangaskhan, you do—you really don't really say that much. Once again, manage our inventory. <laughs> Kangaskhan isn't a fan of Team Charm. Maybe she's worried that there'll be a bad influence. Oh, Team Charm. Getting all the children to bribe people with perfect apples. Once again, leave a blue gummy in memory of the boy. I do believe that's basically all that I want to grab. I don't think I really need all that much. Ba -ba -da. Do you have anything to say? Could it be true? Team Charm is truly visiting? What am I doing? This is no time for me to worry about this shop. <laughs> and yet he then goes on to sell us stuff anyway. Meh, nah, sure, why not buy a red gummy? Why not? <laughs> or marching into dungeons unprepared. Yeah, that's <laughs> Mama Kangaskhan's job. 
to make sure that everyone is prepared. I enjoyed getting prize tickets. I had a puppy life seat earlier, and it was pretty tasty. It's the first time I've been here, but it's a pretty fun place. It's kind of odd that this place is suddenly, like, Mr. Mime and then whatever group there. And we'll talk to the Manta Ray guy in just a moment. A blue gummy for me, and then a blue gummy for Silas, in remembrance of our stolen child. <laughs> Kangaskhan dislikes them for stealing from your storage on the special episode. Those darn Team Charm, they reach through space and time to take your, your, your items from my storage. Because that is just a funny little thing. Because aside from, like, Sunflora, I don't think that any of the special episodes take place within the same time frame of us existing here. Like... <laughs> The guild master took from our storage. Team Charm did. Bidoof did. The future trio did. Just everybody did. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this drink. And now he got practice swinger. I'm gonna have to look at <laughs> that. That's just thing that he is. What is that? What that be? Shake it good. Oh, back to back? Back to back perfect. Really? I guess I'll get the last grass one just in case I get a miraculous lava evader or whatever this next skill is. Back to back, okay. Amazing. Oh, I forgot, we're gonna talk to the Manta Ray guy. <laughs> Six likes, two viewers. The YouTube viewer count is always weird. It's probably be like, ah, oh, there are lurkers here. <laughs> they don't count because YouTube is mean. Ah, uh, you want to know who this mission came from? I, oh, we already got yours. I forgot. Don't blame me. It was like a billion years ago. Well, let's see. What IQ skills doth you have? What is Practice Swinger? When the Pokemon fails to hit a target with an attacker move, its attack and special attack gets boosted for only the next turn. That's pretty cool. Let's break tough again. Ah, more HP. Power Pitcher? I think that's just you throw things, they do damage you. <laughs> well, I do believe. All that's next is to head to Aegis Cave. Because I don't think there's anything else to do, so we shall go! It was a billion years ago. I don't need to do it immediately, Mantine. Exactly. Even he didn't know exactly what it was. Oh no, not a grave. Why does this immediately remind me of Mirror B? There you are. Well, this is Aegis Cave. Beyond this point is unknown territory. Literally unknown, I think. No one has ever been inside. Just imagine what mysteries await us. Isn't it exciting, darlings? This thing looks important somehow. Yep, yep, it's got those odd-shaped grooves gouged out, by golly. It's got a trick to it, I'm sure. There has to be. I'll solve that mystery. Watch me now. Oh, yes. We've asked everyone else already, but what's your team's name? We're Team <laughs> Lost Light. Ah, your team Lost Light. That's quite a good name. I think we should be on our way. Let's see who can find the big treasure or treasures of this place. Of course, we'd be disappointed in ourselves if we weren't first, tee <laughs> Well, let's wish each other the best of luck. Okay, sweeties, we're off. Yeah, I'll be the first to find the treasure. Yep, yep, we'll have to step it up by golly. Hey, 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 hey. Did he trip? What the fuck? Why'd he trip? We should speed it up. 
Neon checked a stone marker. There are oddly shaped grooves in it. Uh... Either that's like a G or maybe a C. Ice? If you seek passage, close your eyes and submit your proof. Neon did as instructed. Nothing happened. Huh. I see E is what I see. That's definitely an I, that's definitely an E, and C ties it together is what I presume. If you seek passage, close your eyes, submit your proof. No, because I don't have anything. Definitely interesting. Well, let's go on. I guess we'll have to, like, find an ice thing, I guess? At... Hello, unknown. Oh. Don't tell me I actually have to beat up, like, the specific letters and force them to me. What? Huh. I'm confuzzled. Well, that's rude. Because I think that... Hmm. I think all the unknown on this floor are the unknown that spell out the, 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 the word. Because I do believe it's spelled out ice. I hope I don't have to recruit the unknown to do it properly. That would be kind of me. Like, uh, hopefully it's just, like... Oh! <laughs> okay. Its secret lies in its shape. It's an E-stone. I assume. Okay, we need... Oh, that's one way to do it. It's better than just that, so we don't want to just uh, move on through. <laughs> you need that. <laughs> it would be kind of surprising if you didn't. Although, that would be kind of funny. If the game was like, hey, let's, like, throw these weird letter things at the player. Since we're getting stones, I don't need to recruit you, and I'm, I, I don't really care. I'm not really one, so an I stone. We need a C stone. That's very interesting. Another eye stone. I don't think I need duplicate. Or at least I think another eye stone. So yeah, I and either a C or E. I be fool. <laughs> another unknown. So that means that there's an unknown over there that doesn't hold an item. Again, the music really reminds me of Mirror B. <laughs> Another eye stone. Now I kind of want to grind for that one. Let me check again, because I'm a fool. Oh, looks like the letter E. It actually tells you. That's cool. So we have I and E, we need a C, but I don't think I've seen a C one, so... Oh, interesting. Now other ones are starting to appear. Interesting. We probably need to go down to another floor. We've been here for a while. Oh, it even says Ice Aegis Cave. I probably would have missed that. And you are precisely what we need, I do believe. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, letter C, so it is indeed ice. 
very interesting. Haha, non sleeper beats you. Rock, paper, scissors. But that's a, this is actually a pretty cool thing. Very interesting. We must kill the alphabet. No. I'll take an extra. Let's go. Yeah, this is new. Unknown stones. Oh, Team Lost Light. You've ended up back here like us. You have to solve a mystery to move ahead, it seems. Eh, this is vexing. I would assume the stone marker holds the key. The surface of the stone marker is scored by deep grooves shaped like unknown. The cave is filled by hordes of unknown. There must certainly be... S there must... This, there. there most certainly is a connection between those facts. If you seek passage, close your eyes, then submit your proof. Oh, that's not much to go on. Well, I closed my eyes, but that did nothing. We must be overlooking something. Uh, we'll go into the cave and search again. See you again. Time to get ahead of the expert master rank team. Ice. Ice, ice, baby. The unknown stones in the treasure bag, I, C, and E, are responding. The activated unknown stones were absorbed by the stone marker. And then it turned into a bomb. The stone marker disappeared, and a hidden stairway has revealed. We go down them, it's just the bazaar. Hello. Would you like to clean off your grimy food? Who knows what we might face? Let's be careful. Really wish there was a bit more, like, conversation from the partner in these kinds of dungeons. Just a little bit more. R Reggie Ice! I should have brought more! If you want to go on, show that you have the power. It's just the guy. <laughs> it's just a dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just the guy. <laughs> Size is checking you out. Not that I mind. And it's oh, it's playing music again. Bum bum. Ba, ba, ba. It's the Time Gear motif. Well, you're an annoying bastard with your rebounding. Please die. But, but I, I didn't expect him to get knocked back. At least I didn't need to waste my totter seed on you. <laughs> and at the very least, we did... Uh, 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 what? I... A mysterious light has a... Don't take me away again. The Guardian's permission was granted. We ate Reggie Ice. Okay. Sure. Hello, hello to Twitch chat. We just ate Reggie Ice. <laughs> I was having... I was going to say things. Oh, yeah. It's like, at the very least, this Aegis Cave is nicer than the original... Ruby and Sapphire, where you had to learn frickin' Braille. <laughs> you playing a randomizer? No. This is the Expanded Sky ROM hack, which adds in a bunch of new, like, uh, starters for you to play with, if you so choose to. As well as comes baked in with a few extra goodies like the fairy type, Sylveon is an evolution. Yep, is very cool. What just happened? We ate Reggie Ice, YouTube chat. <laughs> was expecting Vor to pop up. He was unwilling Vor as well. On the on the side of the one who was doing the Voring, apparently. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, at least we didn't have to learn Braille. We just have to do things with blah, blah, blah. But I wonder how many stones we're going to have to get of Unknown this time. It, it seems to be rock. <laughs> We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get four and then steal, which is like five. That was good work. We killed a god. You handled that battle with superb aplomb. You're going to make us look bad if we don't pick up the pace. <laughs> this has become unusually exciting for me. 
But we'll beat you to solving the next mystery. We're off. You didn't even read. <laughs> like, you obviously know that the stone disappeared. And that we went down there and beat a god. <laughs> Imagine standing still for two minutes. Oh, that would be pain. <laughs> Hello again. We just killed a god. <laughs> there are only shaped grooves. Rock. <laughs> okay, let's go beat up more unknown. <laughs> what you gotta say? Who knows what we might face? Again. Like, the opening horns remind me of Mirror B. <laughs> now I'm also imagining replacing Killer B and Naruto with Mirror B. Oh, dang it, that's not what I wanted. Most apologies. I did not mean to wear your, your defense scarf, darling. I swear, these trip traps are just there to hurt you. Hello, hello. <laughs> this dungeon gives me PTSD. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see, uh... Well, if you drop a stone, at least I'll be able to know what it is. What stone be you? <laughs> the, the you. We're not looking for a rock. And this is, we already have the C, so we just need R, O, and K. Mira B smoking taco with the power of dance. Oh, hey, you're K. And... Stone. Dang it. Give us stone. We're just getting all the stones that we need. This is hilarious. Oh, hello. What did I miss? Um, uh, we're in the unknown dungeons. We're trying to spell out rock by killing unknown and taking their letters. I don't like the stone gathering, says Twitch chat. I guess I can understand that. If the RNG is bad, that could take forever. Oh, God. This is RNG based. Let me see. I do believe we just need, um, let's see. Because we have R, K, C, we just need O. Honestly, I'm down to see Mirror B uh, stop berating Sasuke to add to the music and dance moves. Mirror B, the ultimate Jinjiriki. Oh, we don't need another R. We do. All these unknowns want to join us. <laughs> Be gone. I don't want you on my team. You'll probably get annihilated by your allies. Can't even read unknown. They are sometimes very odd to, like, parse, and I just realized I forgot to eat my diddly dang. Where are they? Or, oh, no, wait, oh, wait, we already did that. I'm a fool. I'm mixing up my timelines. No! My Orenberry. We need an O. At least I think we need an O. Because that's an I. That's a T. This is a C. This is a U. This is a K. This is an R, and then we have a duplicate R. We need an O. Are you an O, or are you just another C? At this rate, I'm expecting the unknown to call me a cuck. But you're almost my level, damn. Please hit select. Eh, I don't like that. I like the upper top one. Although this is kind of interesting if you need, like, a more clear thing, because sometimes it's a bit hard. I mean, I can, but my inventory's not that bad. We'll, in we'll organize our inventory in just a minute. Once we get down to the next floor, I'm waiting. It's an O! Give me! Give me, give me! You fucker! It knows! It tortures me with its existence! 
And now I think it threw the whole menagerie of dudes at me. I mean, I do have the mobility scoff, so if a rock falls into the... You fuck off and die. You do not hurt the boy. Hey, oh, give me, give me. I don't think it dropped anything. All these O's want to join my... T <laughs> it's now throwing O's at me. Drop... Well, at least it gave me a, a chest. It gave me a chest, at the very least, a consolation prize. Just a million thoughts ran through my head. Hey, give me the O rock. Fuck. And that. If you gave me the L rock, I would have been very upset with you, but amused. I refuse to organize my inventory sometimes. Mood. Also, check recruit search to see if a floor has anything good. Recruit search? What's recruit search? I don't know that. Is this one of those newfangled, like, things? Recruitment search. Huh. Machoke! Machoke? Why is there a chance for Machoke to spawn? <laughs> like all the others, like O, C, F, H, J, K. Like, those make sense. Machoke? <laughs> Found the O, but none of them dropping the O rock exactly. <laughs> Machoke! Hello, this is Professor Machoke here to teach you uh, how to speak the English language through the power of unknown. Hmm, I don't think steel will need a K rock. I guess now's the perfect time to. Do my inventory, because why not? Bop. We have lots of R's. No one's dropping the donut. Also the professor <laughs> abs in the <laughs> Professor Abs in the dungeon. The choke. If you fail your studying, I will machoke you out. But now I totally understand why Twitch chat has a PTSD of this. The rock gathering is evil. Now that's just another C. We need to find a donut maker. Where's Dio when you need him? There was a horde of O's there for a moment, and none of them dropped the frickin' rock. Well, that's just me. At least it was Dark Pulse. I don't think I'll need it all that much. It has too low of a... We can always go down to the next one, because we're on floor two, and I think there's multiple floors that we can do. Huh. the Oda! Exactly. Because hmm. I do believe we can just get yeah, another one, a third one. Get out of here. Bop, 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 bop. At least we have bopping music to hunt unknowns to. <laughs> Chill tracks to hunt unknown to. Die. While you're hunting unknown, remember to stay hydrated. We're being attacked on all sides. Die. <laughs> oh yeah, we should also take a look and see what weirdness is in the recruitment search. Like, I know it's just gonna... A gull bat. Why gull bat? <laughs> but, uh... Oh, a what? It oh, isn't a thing that spawns here? Well, that's just mean. We're gonna have to go through again. We'll go through and, like, look at all of the... Like, uh... Items that are potentially here. Because it said nine items. So why not? Escape orb? We don't really need a escape orb. You fucker. At least it splashed on him and didn't ruin any of our food. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. 
But that's actually kind of mean of the game to do. Where they make it so that sometimes... You don't get the necessary letters. Yeah, chill beats to find the missing donut to, exactly. There's something in the front of the stone marker. It appears to be a letter. Neon read the letter. The team lost light. As we promised earlier, we have already solved this mystery. We're going on ahead. This is a race to see who can get the treasure first, you know. So they actually had to figure out, and it's what respawns. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, onwards to just speed blitzing all the O's. Fucker. How come Silas got the nice number? And not me. Die. Oh yeah, I forgot I should check the recruitment. Just to make sure. Can this place spawn O's? It cannot, but it can spawn double gullback? <laughs> Let's find an exit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, Kono Dio got twice? I just <laughs> fumbled saying Kono Dio da. His brain. I wonder what this stone is. Are you worth it? That. <laughs> That's V, I guess, but no. I don't think we'll need a V. I mean, I already gave my V stone to Silas. You give me your fucking stone, oh boy. God damn it, donuts. Another warp seed. Then you're useless to me, a blinker's. Why are you here? Fuck off and die! What new move can I learn? Nasty plot. I don't think you're worth it. Boost the special attack by two. Uh, I don't really care about boosts. Why raise my attack and do it once when I can do multiple in a row? This is my method. Goodbye, nasty plot. Dang it. I, I kind of nice that you can't just accidentally forget it, but still. Yeah, you 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 kill the letter. You kill the alphabet, Silas. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's, not you. Let's double check the recruitment. This place does have O's. It has some hoes. Let's go kill them. Huh. Come on, let's kill the whole beach. Here, hoes. Here, hoes. Then again, of course it has an O. We found one. We killed one, and it didn't drop a deadly D. Bop, bop. Give! You son of a little bitch. You're gonna throw the O, but then you're not gonna give me what I desire? Die. Well, somebody picked up that unknown's V stone. In this world, they don't have V cards. They have V stones. Gib. Gib your soul. Gib me. Why? Yes! This is the correct one, is it not? Fuck, I thought it looked weird. Damn you. Oh, you're mean, game! That was the... Oh, and it found a V-stone. Damn it. I thought it was good. Oh. Oh, you are... You are haunting me! So this is like an endless loop, basically. Ah! What are you? D. Oh, hey, Silas, it's your, it's your stone. <laughs> the D stone. When you put a D stone and a V stone together and they love each other very much. Wait, 
Where the fuck is my O's? We're running into K's. So much, Dr. K, go back to RPM. Spandex, fuck off. You motherfucker, don't you dare? You dropped the wrong stone, didn't you? Of course you did. Oh! <laughs> All of the O's are picking up the incorrect stones. Just to mock me. Silas has his equipped at all times. Well, you gotta be prepared. <laughs> and they can be thrown to deal a lot of damage? I'm gonna look at that. I want to experience that now. Hello, volunteer. Let's see. I have some duplicates. Let's see. Uh, we have lots of ours. Let's throw. The only, they're allowed to do that because they, you can't stack them. That is the only reason that they do that much. What the fuck are you? No, actually, what are you? I want to know. Oh, it's an exclamation point. Well, I mean, it's interesting. And here, folks, is the definition of insanity. Exactly! Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Yeah, it, it, it's killing the alphabet and it killing you back in multiple ways. Hey, motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. I have ran into a single D. And it dropped a stone. Multiple O's! Not a single one! Oh, hey, another D. Oh, hey, another D. It's doing something over and over, expecting different results exactly. Let me guess. The game is tell. Well, we gotta fuck off. That unknown said V stone, and now we gotta fuck off. Once the ominous wind starts a blowing, you gotta go. Let's see. All right, you stone, you'll be trade out for reviver. Pop. All right. I don't care about you, why you exist. Leave the boy alone. He needs to be in good shape, so once we're out of here, we can have fun playing with our V-stones and our D-stones. Hey, motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Oh, if you dare... <laughs> if you dared, game, to have that stone fall and activate... <laughs> and activate... That, just that shit. I would have been angry. <laughs> oh, you bastarding bitch. Uh, to add insult to injury, you missed a big room in the top right. Eh, I don't think it would have helped. <laughs> the O. It exists. The SpaghettiOs. I wonder if it's, like, impossible to get a full set of rock when it goes... Rock. Close our eyes. The unknown stones in the treasure bag. R O C K are responding. The activated unknown stones were absorbed by the stone marker. Woot. Now time to fight the Reggie boy. It's not fair, Team Charm have all the necessary stones to move ahead. Or did they just write uh that to trick Silas and Neon? Could be anything, honestly. They're kind of tricky, Dicky. Regirock. Regirock. If you want to go on, show that you have the power. I have the power! Oh, hey, I can throw a big, 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 big,
because I don't think that it will have, like, uh, anything to do with the next one. I think the next one's going to be steel, so get blown up, idiot. Ba, 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 ba. Why do you have random power rebound? You're a weirdo. <laughs> to be fair, they weren't ready to fight one of the Reggies. Oh, we got a critical hit! That's actually a... Th I wonder if that means that there was another, like, Reggie Ice that spawned to fight Team Charm. A mysterious light enveloped. 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 Neon, the Guardian's permission was granted. Very interesting. Un, 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 un. Let me guess. Steel? Yep, steel. So, I... Hmm. I think we have T. I think we already have T. But we need S-E-E-L. Let's see. We have a T stone. All right. We should speed it up. I still want to know why they decided to make him like that. The, the, the Reggies in that movie. It makes him memorable. Let's see. They have L's. And S's. L's and S's. L's and S's. We're the ones that are going to be handing out the L's today. Hello, grabby hands. Die. The only one that can be grabby hands here is me. With Silas. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Die. Die. Ah, we'll kill you just because we can. <laughs> Silas is getting needy. We, yeah, we should speed up. We have to beat Team Charm there. The F. The W. The F. F does not look like an F. Oh, hey, L. Give me the L. I want it. In this universe, by not giving you the L, they give you the L. Okay, so we have S and T. We need L-E-E. -E. We need to find Stan Lee! Good going, Stan Lee. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Who are you, and do you desire death? This is just a very interesting, funky little tone. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Thank you for joining us for this little time. I hope to see you another time. Hope whatever you need to go do goes well. While I hunt for a, uh, an L. I'm here for the L stone. <laughs> Who needs the infinity gauntlet? I've got the unknown stones. Let me quickly check, because we have the S and the T. E E L. Another F, I do believe. Another S? We don't need you. There's room to the far right. No, there isn't. That is a loop de loop. And loop-de-loops are useless to me, unless I'm a double fool. Or unless you also mean that there's, like, a room to the far right, as in... Like, if I use the mobile scarf, I can get there. But Silas doesn't have an un- like, a mobile scarf. And knowing my luck, the moment I leave, Silas is gonna get bombarded with super effective, like, hidden powers. And I don't trust this game. Because that is also entirely possible. That uh, there is a hidden room that you need to dig to. A. A. A macho! Hello! Why? You son of a whore! Hi, 
I am just looking for L's and E's. What the fuck? Die? Okay, sure. I don't need more Fs. Uh, Professor Muscles, here to teach you how to read and kill you. I don't think I've seen a single L or E on this goddamn plane. Ba 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 I require L's and E's. I require L's and E's. You're an F. How about you go F yourself? How about you go F yourself a question? And the answer is die. Looks like a conga line of unknown for a minute. What the fuck? Okay, let's get the fuck out. Hello, L. Gib. Alright, I don't know the something stirring that is disturbing as fuck. Um, but, uh, we gonna go. Uh, we get go. We get go. Goodbye. We got our L. We just need double E's. We just need to find double E tits, and then we're gonna go gruel. And this place doesn't even have an E. So let's get out of here. Something stirring? Garatina! I wish. Oh. No. Someone I wanted to know. I wanted to go to the others. And... No E, it looks like. B G K L Q R S V W Z. That's good. I can't believe that RNG has fucked us. Also, just to finish my thought before the 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 quick save thing uh, distracted me. I wish that Giratina would be here. Then the ultimate milf would be here. Unless you count uh, Mew. Mew is up there as the ultimate Pokemon milf. This is at least good music. Good music is nice. Oh, this actually goes places. You fucker! Well, that is very rude. <laughs> How dare they use items? That's illegal! Die. Well, I guess we'll move on because we can't get ease. Level four? Level four. I missed. I'm a dumb. But level four? I think I'm being had. Uh, recruitment. E. We can get ease here. Now we just need to fucking find them. You whore. Yep. Whenever my inventory is full and I come across an apple, I eat it. And shit, there's a machamp. Several food items went bad because this game is made by an evil bastard. And what are you, an M? Well, I mean, I guess we can swap you with something. We have, like, multiples of stuff. I think. <coughs> hmm. Well, I guess we can swap you out for this grimy food we just got. Exactly, how did you get faint attack level 5? Because I think I had one Ginseng give me plus 3. And then I had two other Ginseng. So basically, I got a super luck of the draw, 
and then two normal draws equals level five. I just need ease. I just need ease. I just need ease. I just need ease. I just need ease as an E. And that is a single lever. Please give me. Uh, give me a good stone, the one you have. You fucker. I wish that I could destroy the stones that are on the ground. Die. Whatever you are. Fucker. How's Giratina Milf? I don't know. Sometimes it's just vibes. Get out of here. I just know. That's another E unknown that found that stone, huh? Hello, D. Get out of here. Through the will of D. Oh, hey, another E. Gib? It's an E! It's an E! <laughs> yep, we got an E stone. We just need one more! One more E stone, then we're gold. One more E stone, then we're gold. E stone, give me the A stone. E stone, give me that E. E A E E E E E E E E E E E I guess I guess I could explore to the right a little bit. Just cuz. Another E! Give me your soul! Ha 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 I don't believe that is everything. We can go, that's an alcove of hell. We can move on. Damn it. Through the power of non-sleeper, we become gods. Ah, oh, shit, it's the fucking muscle muncher. Fuck. Muscle professor's here to murder. Please, for the love of God, have this be a five, like a four level, no more. <laughs> Stone Marker, they're oddly shaped grooves. They look like Milf Giratina. Let's close our eyes. The st unknown stones in the treasure bag S, T, E, E, and L are responding. The activated unknown stones were absorbed by the Stone Marker. Take that, Team Charm. You didn't get ahead of us this time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We should speed it up. Reggie Steel. I hope we don't have to gather up for Reggie Gigas. If you have, if you want to go on, show that you have the power. I have the power of Groskill. I should have thrown a did 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 it. Get smacked, idiot. Fuck. Why is that Machamp a bigger of a bastard than you? Leave the boy alone, you, 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 you steel bitch. I do like that it's a Time Gear Remix boss battle music. I think we've heard it before, but I like it. It's just nice. A mysterious life enveloped Neon. Administrator permissions granted. Oh, what the- Oh, I guess I got- I got their ass beat by Registeel. Uh, uh... What, what happened to us? Apparently you got vored by Registeel. Oh, we were fighting Registeel here. Then Metacham got into trouble. After that, I just don't know. I don't know what came next. I can see that you saved us, though, Team Lost Light. Thank you. We were in a bind. We owe you one, Team Lost Light. If you didn't show up in time to save us, that would have been it for us. That is so true. 
I'm afraid we can never repay you for this. And uh, now Brain goes. Brain's going places. I know. How about we fuck right here? How about letting us back you up at some point, Team Lost Light? Yes, I think we've already failed on our own exploration. Tee <laughs> don't worry. We won't try to steal your glory or your treasure. Let's go. Our goal can't be far off now. Would be Are we going to fight Regigigas as a full team? Nope, just Aegis Cave Pit. And then they're gone. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. What's next, Regigigas? If we do run into him, we'll need to murder him fast so that he doesn't get his slow start going. It's a key! Wow, that, that, that little motherfucker actually ate the cherry. The bitch. I hope we don't run into a monster house, you fucker. Damn it! I'm becoming a... Everything is hell! Don't step on the sludge monster again, please! Oh, that that's mean game! Where's confusion, non-confusion? <laughs> HSK Platinum. Hello, Golbat. How about you die? Fuck. This music is still really good. Oh, you son of a bitch. Kill him! I'll throw rocks, damn it. How can he dodge a rock? If you can dodge a rock, you can dodge a hammer. We're not using an escape orb, we ain't a bitch. <laughs> I was hoping that Team Trump would help support Lost Light. That would be cool. If it was like an actual, they were actually here. But at the same time, then you'd be managing five Pokemon as a team. And I think that'd get a little unwieldy. Unwieldy. Die. Into the waters you go, Golbat. No one loves you. Not even Silverbat. Or Bronze Bat. Or Bat Bat. Or Batman. How to make anybody sad. C claim that Batman doesn't love them. Maybe the help of the boss? That is what I assume. And it would be a nice little payoff to actually have Team Charm here help in a fight. I just think that would be neat. That was a weak ass crowbat. I'm gonna throw a rock at you, bitch. I'm gonna faint attack you, bitch. My intuition was right. That was a dead end. I hope I don't need to actually be gathering stones anymore. But you never know. Let's see. Because that's an R stone. If we are going for Reggie Gigas, we'd have to be spelling Gigas. Quit making the boy drop his shit. Leave the boy alone. Quit undressing him in front of me suggestively again. What is this? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the etchy episode. We don't even normally wear clothes. Well, that's not good at all. <laughs> Maybe you need pit. That would be hilarious. Honestly, that would be hilarious. If you're like, oh, you're in the Reggie pit or Aegis Cave pit and you need the pit to spell out pit. That would be hilarious. That would be the greatest joke. It's an orange gummy for the boy! Uh, grimy food swap. 
Now Silas can get crunk when we get back home. Another key. I guess we'll take it with us, because why not? We don't need Pekka Berries. I swear to God, if you throw a monster that poisons me, I'm going to be angry. Unknown wants to join. Unknown can go back to Unknown Club. The ruins of Alf call to you. And what is this stone? Wrong thing. Letter C. That is neither Gigas or Pit. Your M. That's a deluxe box. But is there a dick? <laughs> is there a deluxe dick for the deluxe box? I don't know why, but being given a job of saving someone's child from a 54 dungeon, I'm like, yep, your kid's dead. Must suck for that parent. Like, maybe I'd do it because I have, like, the resources for it and things don't seem that bad for me. But it would like, depend on, like, the quality of, like, the thing, if it, like, what ranking it is. How many rescue points I get for that. Get out of here, A. Eh? I can't believe the unknown has turned us into a Canadian. Oh! Oh, that's a horrifying trap right now. Thank God that there's just a random chance. What the fuck? Oh, Wretched Gigas Chamber. Well, I guess we just get to fight him. <laughs> well, it would be a plus four star, or a four star, seven star one at best. This appears to be the last chamber. And we appears we didn't need to... S oh, no! Oh, no! That's how the quakes... Oh, shit. Those who seek the treasures sleeping in the ground, show all of your power. I should have brought stun seats. The stone statues! They're alive! We'll team up for this battle. Well, this isn't good. Uh, I... <laughs> Agility! 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 And I'm gonna throw this Doom Seed right at your face! Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, these guys have Intimidate too? That's mean. Alright, game, will you please stop being a bitch? Intimidate is such a cringe move! I hate it! Intimidate should not exist. It undermines too much shit. Damn you. I haven't been able to send out a single fucking move because Intimidate is bullshit. I'd like to play game, please. Intimidate is cringe. Okay, thank you. You're gonna die, though. Oh, that heals everyone. But that's still gonna kill you, Gardevoir. I guess I'll do this again. Dark Pulse. 
Of course you have rebound. Well, that's extra mean. I guess I'll quickly throw a totter seed at you. Oh, safeguard. That's mean. You bitch! Agility! Agility! At least so that the uh, Team Charm can come in to help us. Mine. But the fact that Safeguard is, like, permanent is kind of shenanigans. Oh god, your your slow start's gonna no longer be slow, isn't it? That's gonna be bad. I wanna put on my silver bow. I wish this was a free action. And now you're all alone. And you're dead. Thank you, Metacham. Also, thank you for not getting to him and beating him before I got my silver bow back, because I don't think that the game would be nice. We did it! Oh, you fucker. W what is this? There's an inscription on the stone marker. All right, close your eyes and let your aura flow into the ground. Will you close your eyes? Neon did as instructed. Also, just Regigigas' body, just there. As ne and Neon's aura spread to the ground. Gzz, gzz. What? Regigigas, we're in for another round? Oh, great. Now he's voiced by Giratina. Uh, not Giratina, uh, uh, Dialga. Never mind, he's going to ground pound and send us down into the ground. Whoa! Hurry, we've got to get out! Did I make a mistake and not- was I not meant to throw the aura into the ground? Is everyone alright? Where's the other- the rest of the guild? Seems that way. Everyone's here. Except for Corfish and Loudred and, uh, Bidoof. Thank goodness. But the treasures... Yes, quite disheartening. Oh! Look at that! Another dungeon? Oh, that's... The ground heaved up and a gap opened in the face of the cliff. The tremor earlier. What Regigigas and the others were protecting. This must have been it. I get it now. That's where they hid the treasures, and they're undisturbed. Wonderful. This exploration turned out to be a huge success after all. <laughs> yeah. But the credit doesn't belong to us this time. Team Lost Light, the credit belongs entirely to you. Granted, your Metacham just high jump kicked that Regigigas to death. I'd say it does. The treasure's in there. All of it belongs to you. My word, weren't you something special? It was like seeing Wigglytuff in action in the old days. <laughs> Only you didn't need to bribe us with <laughs> perfect apples. So, shall we go on to our next adventure, old friends? Yes, let's do that. We enjoyed ourselves very much, Team Lost Light. It was fun exploring with you. If we keep up our explorations, we may run into each other someday. But next time, we'll beat you to the treasure. Take care. Send our love to Wigglytuff. We are not fucking him for you. You can now go to the Concealed Ruins. Put in a full day today. I'm exhausted. We should go get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. <laughs> if they took it, I would have eaten a violent seed with violent intent. <laughs> the next morning. I wonder what's in the concealed diddly D. Kind of disappointing that the team charm mission led to just another dungeon, but maybe it's a good dungeon. I reached Ultra Rank yesterday. Neat! I don't even know what the actual ranks for this game are. Oh, so Team Charm left already. 
Hey, did they say anything about coming back to Treasure Town ever? Oh, they never mentioned it. <laughs> Hello, Mama Kangaskhan. Ba ba da ba da ba da. Ba da ba da ba da ba da. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba 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 ba da 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 da. <laughs> oh, now with Ultra Rank, you got a six hundred plus storage. Lucky. <laughs> Never thought I'd say this, but I think I got too much storage. What a life. Now yeah, they're just talking about Team Raider again. Good morning to you all. I heard you solved the mystery of Aegis Cave. That's mighty great of you all. This is our to appraisal. Appraise our shit. Let the appraisal begin. Quick, quick, quah! And so, it is revealed within the boxes were a purple gummy, x-ray specs, a skitty card. I can't believe he gave us a shitty card. Hey, hey! ba 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 I'm going to assume that the keys are, like, primarily for, like, whatever's in Concealed Cave. Oh, hey. You guys. I do wish the women of Team Charm would come back again. Just once I would love to meet them. Hey, hey, so tell me, what are the mysteries of Aegis Cave? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, I don't understand any of it, hey. We've been exploring Zero Isle, but that spot isn't for the faint of heart. We found out Zero Isle is no ordinary place. It turns out that kind of island has several dungeons that each put restrictions on explorers in a unique way. Some places knock you down to level one temporarily, and another prevents you from leveling up. You may also not be allowed to take items in. You'll be restricted in some way or another of those dungeons. You're making our team AWD look bad. The glory is ours next time. I didn't even do anything. Like, literally. <laughs> Let's go check out the diddly dee. Hmm, considering that... Like... Oh, hey, you two. What? What are you suggesting? Me eat you? Are you kidding? Wormple, you're my trusted partner. You're my... One and only partner. There's no replacing you. You and me, we're going to keep on exploring together like we've always done. Hmm? Why are you crying? <laughs> Thank you, Swellow. You're my one and only leader. I'm very, so very happy. <gasps> I kind of like that they had an arc together. Better love story than Twilight. Kind of, yeah. In fact, it would actually be an interesting, like, thing to explore, almost. Hey, what about you? Earlier, strange Pokemon appeared and asked me, okay, give me it. I'm probably never going to go there, but I'll use it. The Terra symbol in the Shimmer Desert. Hey. Hey. do 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 Take the Jabba. I feel like they're just trying to make a band. I can't believe that the message self-deleted. It's just not an answer. Silas will drunk, eh? He'll get crunk. Now my brain is going IQ gummies, but for your dick. XP go get her. He's going to become a god. And a grass gummy for me, I guess. We've gotten so many, like, orange gummies, but not that many black gummies. 
This is dark type discrimination. A savory frog -arons. I don't think we have any other gummies. Oh, yeah, it's a purple gummy. I'm a fool. It's close to black. I should get like a 0.5. <laughs> Alcohol time. Save me a lemonade. Do they even have lemons in the Pokemon world? I don't think so. From how things have gone in the past, I'm going to assume that, like, nothing new is going to show up for a day or two. <laughs> Diet Cola for me, pal. I'm not really one for alcoholic drinks either, but if they increased my IQ... That Team Charm, oh my gosh, they were so cool. Just thinking about them makes me go, oh my gosh. A Wonder Gummy is a very rare gummy found somewhere in the world. I found like one. Do you know about the Wonder Gummy? A Wonder Gummy is a fantastic gummy. Not because humans made lemons. Exactly. Life didn't make us lemons. According to that one Emperor of Mankind shitpost animation that was taken audio from a TikTok, like, lemons are the creation of something crossbred with a citrod and thus created lemons. It's hilarious. Ah, oh, you two. I do hope you'll work hard and earn good money today. The guild certainly appreciates your funding to provide. Freeloader. <laughs> Have thing for me. Have thing for me. Grilled cheese. I'm never, ever, ever going to get. <laughs> Wait, Valiant Rock? What's a Valiant Rock? Why don't we... Why is that in storage? I'm going to have to roll that out. And we'll t we're getting this Rialu card just because we don't have one, I don't think. But yeah, we've yet to get a dark type swab. I'm angry. Through the power of getting crunk, your intelligence rise. Sacred scarf. I guess we can go check it out. It's probably, I don't know, maybe a rare item for Ho-Oh or something. I don't think there's just neutral items in there, but I could be wrong. I don't want to stall. I want to take out. I'll take that. I don't know why that's in there. Did I get a Valiant Rock through the chests and I just assumed that it was normal thing and just threw it in there like everything else? Probably. We'll quickly check that sacred scarf. What be you? For Ampharos. What makes Ampharos so sacred? Absorbs damage from ground types. Interesting. Yeah, the rock's meant for Rialu. That's why. <laughs> it just didn't say Rialu on it, so I think I got it from a chest and then put it in there by accident. Either that or I had it in my inventory and I accidentally included it with a bulk of putting things in there after opening boxes. Yeah. And let's quickly check and see what is experience go getter? Do you just get super experience now? Oh, put that back on. When near several enemies, the Pokemon will target the one that is worth the most XP points. I mean, yeah, you I guess that wouldn't be bad. And actually, I think I'll turn that off. Primarily because if we are surrounded, we might want to target lower enemies so that so it's not yeah, so like me. But let's see. Concealed ruins. I... Wait, I should probably grab more Reviver Seeds before we go. Because we used one or two in there. You had one before, but traded it for an emit ring and must have had a spare. Maybe. 
Let's see, do you have anything special in here? Uh, we'll take uh, this year Reviver Seed. In fact, I'll go get more money, I'll come back and I'll buy that other Reviver Seed, then we'll head off to the Concealed Ruins. I don't know what's there, but hey, we're in between post-games, and again, it seems like... Let's just do this from the start. <laughs> But yeah, just like, from the way it seems, you can do a post-game, and then after you finish that post-game, like, arc, you need to do a mission or, like, have a day or two pass, and then, like, another post-game seems to activate. And then there's the secret rank scissor thing that I've yet to do, because I'm just, like, not all that interested. Maybe we'll do one, but I don't know. It's like... It doesn't call to me like others do. Well, with all that out of the way, I guess let's head to uh, the Concealed Ruins. Because why not? Remember to stay hydrated. Who knows, maybe this is part of the... It's an Umbreon! We're gonna have to kill you! In a previous life, I was an Umbreon. Or at least the human I played as in the last game was an Umbreon. Interesting music that's playing. Of course, it's a dead end. And this is some interesting, like, tiles. Oh, you bastard. It's like roots or dead trees are reaching... You fucker. Let's get out of here. Yeah, just in case, I'm gonna super go through. Unless there's, like, hidden things on the floor, I don't know. This isn't gonna be a, like, rescue team where the locked box things are... Hidden away, are they? You ever have a favorite character that was great, but the game killed their flames, uh, of flames of potential? I don't know. Hmm. I don't think so. Nothing coming to mind. Yeah, this is some. Well, that's not good at all. Oh, hey, you died. Good. Favorite anime? I don't know. I'd probably go with the basic bitch answer of, um... Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Primarily because it's simple. It's relatively short. Like, don't get me wrong. From what I've watched of One Piece, it is grand. But... Full Metal Alchemist feels more contained. Which does... It, that's not to say that, like, you need to have, like, your anime be contained. But it's just, like, it, it's simpler. It's, like, more contained, more, like, uh... It just... I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's just, like, it's a very nice experience. It doesn't feel like you need to put in a billion years to get the full experience. And it also doesn't feel like it overstays its welcome. There's a lot of frickin' Umbreon in here. I also prefer Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood over One Piece. It's just... It probably helped that uh, Full Metal Alchemist had the, um, the 2003 series to kind of iron things out a bit. Like, the 2003 series came out while uh, the manga was still in production. And then they caught up to the manga, just decided, hey, we're just going to do our own thing now so that we don't have to worry about this in the future. And they just went off in their own crazy direction, which is actually kind of cool. 
And then Brotherhood is them going, Welp, all right, we uh, went crazy. Uh, now we're going to be uh, <laughs> faithful to the the source material. Though that, it, though from what I understand, you do miss a little bit in Brotherhood because they kind of expect you to already know kind of the stuff that happened in the 2003. So, like, uh, some characters get a little bit shortchanged just ever so slightly, which is a little sad. I really need to watch the 2003 anime, because while it probably isn't as good as Brotherhood, I think it just would be interesting to experience a familiar story, but it just goes off the rails into freaky directions. I just think that'd be cool. Hmm. Let's see. My favorite anime is uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. JoJo's is a nice choice. I need to go and watch it some more, but from what I've seen, it is a very interesting experience, a very cool experience. Luckily, I think the stickiness gets removed by the end of the floor, but I do have other defense scarves. Hopefully. <laughs> I like Yokai Watch. I've never watched Yokai Watch. Just never actually interested me all that much. What part have you gotten to? Let's see, I've on and off watched parts. I really enjoyed part one with Jonathan. Part one was a very fun time. Part 2, I think, was a really grand, like, sequel. Damn it. I gotta run away. But yeah, like, Part 1 and Part 2, I think, are really, really cool because they're kind of contained-ish and are just a very fun ex uh, experience. Part 3 is also really, really nice with, like, the characters and stuff. But I think, blah, 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 I really need to go back and experience that again, because I think I missed some episodes for some reason. It's been a long time. And then uh, I've also seen a few episodes of Part 4 with Josuke, which was an interesting experience. The characters seem really, really cool, and, like, it, it's, it, I, I do like that one because they, like, take the idea of JoJo and, like, kind of apply it to a, like small town setting, and I, I like that. It's just like an interesting experience there. And ba, 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 I think that's about it. I need to do like a full watch through at some point and get the full experience. But the two that I've definitely watched in full are part one and part two. Granted, kind of helps because they're the shorter parts. <laughs> Funny enough, a lot of fans hate part one. That That's a little, that's kind of weird. I don't I what I don't understand why you'd dislike part 1. Maybe the pacing? I can see the pacing being a little weird to a viewer or two, but to say that they hate it is just meh. I don't know. Part 1 I think is very cool because like sure it does have that kind of a little bit of uh early installment weirdness but what it leads to in part two really really also helps it's just it's a nice experience i don't know i don't know why people be disliking it because yeah aside from pacing part one is just a really nice time And I'd love to watch with you. I don't think I... Like, maybe... I feel like I know too much and have been, like, kind of spoiled on, like, what happens in JoJo to, like, uh, do, like, a watch... Like, an actual four-content watch-through. And plus, that would also be lots of editing. Because if I ever do reactions, I am going to do good reactions. 
where I only use footage from the source material if it is given context through my reactions. Because, like, good con- like, um... Oh, no. Oh, I got- I got rid of all of my apples. Oh, that- oh, I'm fucked. That's bad. Do these slightly increase belly? Well, that's very bad. All those sludges got rid of all of my damn apples, and I didn't notice. And I was so used to having all the damn apples. That's very not good. To clarify, I like part one, but I've met a lot of people who hate part one. They told me they didn't like it, that it wasn't as grand. I think it was plenty grand. I think you could argue that maybe the presentation wasn't as grand, but... I don't know. I think that it was plenty grand. Eat the seeds, maybe. I could eat the blinker one next, because... XI seed. What does XI even do? I'm not eating the doom seed. Hmm. What is cross-eyed? Uh, sees hallucinations. Other Pokemon and things on the ground take on different appearances. This status lasts a certain number of turns. Well, I guess, sure. Let's have hallucinations. That's actually not that bad, and I think it felt filled the belly decently. Because, with uh, back to the JoJo talk, for part one, I could definitely see some people thinking that it's not as grand as the other ones due to the presentation of, like, Dio and, like, how the adventure unfolds. That's why I kind of said that pacing is probably the weakest in part one. But I think it's still an earnest, like, journey. For me, one of my favorite parts for sure. I love part five. Also, the XI seems like weed. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Da -da -dee -da -dee. Oh, Oren Berry. Oh, that'd be mean. But we need to just charge on. We just gotta charge on. But really, to me, I don't think there's really a bad JoJo part from what I hear. At least so far that have been made into anime. Well, that's just rude. Yeah, because it's just like... There's just so much to JoJo. I just don't think that, like, I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's bad. Sure, some people can have their opinions. Like, there are people out there who dislike Treasure Planet. The heathens. Who will not see the light of God. And this is why we bring... Petrify Orb. I'm gonna eat this grass gummy because gummy is slightly fill belly too. Nom. Bye bye. And I don't want to waste turns of my belly to kill them. Huh. Who dislikes Treasure Planet? Exactly. And then also, it's just like. <laughs> I think that there are people out there that kind of don't see much to it. Let's see, uh, I was gonna do a thing, and then I got distracted by everything. Um, that was a thing. That was a thing. Oh well, if I forgot, it mustn't be that important. I could really use an apple drop now. One series that I do need to watch... Oh yeah, I was gonna use a Max Elixir, I'm dumb. But like, one series that I definitely need to actually go and 
watched some time is the Avatar The Last Airbender. It's one of those things that I've heard so much about, but I've just never gotten around to watching. One day, maybe. One day. I know a lot of people love Part 3. Part 3 is definitely where stereotypical JoJo begins. But, like, it's still, like, a good way, in a good way. Stereotypical JoJo is still lots of fun and lots of good. But Part 3 is definitely where the art... Oh, that's it. Where the archetypal JoJo begins. Well, that's... You're gonna explode again, aren't you? But yeah, that's where the archetypal JoJo begins is part three. Because it introduces stands. It has, like, Dio as a villain. It's, like, it's a very solid part. Maybe a little overrated, if only because so many people go, Oh, I think this is the greatest one. Personally, I think part two is the best part. Because part two has, like... Just great villains, great characters, but uh, also feels like kind of Full Metal Alchemist to a degree where it feels condensed and self-contained. But I can definitely see why people might prefer Part 3 over other parts, because it also helps that Part 3 is where things get extra weird and extra bizarre. <laughs> a lot of people like Part 3 because it had a 1997 OVA. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Well, that's not good. Wait, I definitely have seen, like, footage of the, the OVA. So I guess that would also color people's perception of JoJo. Because part one and part two didn't get adaptations. But then part three did. So, and also, like, part three and stuff definitely also helps. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I'm trying to think words. We just like. Part 3 is definitely up there. Of being, like, interesting. It has lots of stuff. Hmm. I wonder if I should just... I forget what, bell, like, running out of belly would do. If it would, like... If it would activate my... Reviver seat, or if it would kick us out. The top scenes make me laugh from Avatar. Mainly the, there it is! That's what's gonna sound like when you <laughs> one of you spots it. <laughs> Blind jokes, but they're tasteful. It just drops one HP per step. You'll faint from hunger. I'll do a thing. I'll make a save state, and then let it faint me. Because I have reviver seats to spare but not that many things to, in my inventory to spare. And then maybe it'll just set me down to 1 HP. <gasps> Apple! You sly dog. It's like it knew. I was like, oh, you're not going to play the starving game anymore. Fine, have an apple. Right, 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 seeds give you a hundred uh, <laughs> uh, belly anyway. Interesting. Like, if I die or if I just eat them? <laughs> that would be amusing if they were secretly a super apple. But I guess it would also be a trade-off of, like, do you use... Oh, lots of box... Excuse me. <laughs> do you use your reviver seeds as apples or reviver seeds? That would be a funny th hidden mechanic. Bastard. 
But what's drop eye seed? Well, I guess I'll eat it. Why not? I'm gonna throw a rock at you. What even is Snatch? Leave the boy alone, you bitch. Why do rock miss? How dare. I should probably use one of my max elixirs just because I can. Well, that's just mean. If I really wanted to, I could put on the mobile scarf. But then I'd go through walls and that would drain my belly even faster. No, 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 that's my move. I'm not gonna play this game with you, die. Like I said, die, mighty Ina. I wonder how many floors this place has. Also, Jesus Christ, that guy got nuked. Of course you would. I don't need to worry about anything. Leave the boy alone. How about I assure that you die? How about I assure your ass? Quit stickifying things. That's Silas's job later today. Stop it! There was an apple that floor, damn it. Let's annihilate you. Oh, you whore. I hate move wide room things. I said that very po poorly. That is horror. Die. Please don't do it again. Bullshit. That is such a bullshit move that should not affect things like that. Especially because it seems like it's just a million... Why are there so many goddamn sticky traps? Fuck off, game. Those better wash off when we exit this place because fuck you. I swear, this is fucking bullshit. Again, hilarious that they're like, oh my god, we need to nerf, like, multi-hit moves. Oh, but m moves that are multi-hit and that they hit the entire floor. Oh, we don't need to nerf them. Not at all. Like, maybe they're like, oh, but they don't do that much damage. They still do a third of my health bar. I'd classify that as a lot. Personally, I would classify that. Why do you fucking exist? And they spam it. They fucking spam it. That's bullshit. Fuck off. They should not be able to do that at all. You're going to do it again because you're a cunt, aren't you? But it just is so stupid. It's so stupid. It should not at all be able to hit like that, that hard. It's just a frustrating thing. Because if you hit from like, because it's ranged, hits the entire floor of enemies, does five billion fucking damage. It's just very annoying. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It just should not exist. I don't think I have any good... Oh, we have one Ornberry. Oh. What do you mean I can't eat it? Oh, because I'm embargoed. Understandable. Have a nice day. But still, it's just like, hate him. <laughs> hate him. I think you have to pay a tongue. I'm fairly certain that that's for, like, mid-dungeon. And I assume that, like, there are cleanse orbs as well. 
I think we have some cleanse orbs. So at the very least, even if they don't get unstickified by the end, there should be... There are way too many fucking sticky traps. May whoever designed that trap be Nickelodeon gooped for the rest of their life eternally. It drips into their eyes, their mouth, and their nose until the day they die. Oh, you want sticky shit all this? Fine. Have Nickelodeon goop in your eyeballs, you stupid little whore. Since you like sticky shit so much. It's just so bothersome. And it's partially why I dislike late game dungeons and mystery dungeon games. What's Feather Dance? Okay, my attack sharply fell. You bastard. And I'm poisoned, and I don't think I have any ornberries left because I was too busy filling my belly. Curses. He gained so much experience. And I have done no grinding. None. I have done zero... Oh, hey, Cleanse Orb! We were just talking about you. Use. You... Slut. I just, I don't like them. I don't like them. It's an apple. I fucking hate you. That just shouldn't be a fucking thing. Room-wide moves should not be a thing. They just should not fucking be. They're just badly designed bullshit. Air AoE moves, fine, because you need to be near them. Like, ranged moves, fine, because you need to be in their, like, line of sight. But motherfucking just diddly D room-wide moves infinite hit, especially because you just know that they are a pain to get as a player character. Oh, you're a player character and you want a room hit move? Sorry, you. Fuck off. That is for the NPCs to wipe your team with. And again, it's technically like a multi-hit move anyway. Because it hits multiple Pokemon. For so much damage. Like, if you have a thing like that... It either needs to do hardly any damage. Oh, hey, we're here. We're at the end. Please don't troll me. Still, uh, still utterly annoyed by you, but I'll take all these deluxe things. Just give me all of the Zoroa dark items, and I will forgive you from all these deluxe boxes. I'm going to have to pay so much money to get these done. And, yeah, that looks like it. Uh, zoopity doop out, I guess. We put in a full day today. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. May we be good rested, please. Like, one of these days I'm expecting us to just, like, have the camera show up while we're sleeping in the middle of the night and an assassin just comes to murder us. But yeah. Super annoyed that the game threw five billion Nido Queens at us with that one. Alright. We didn't need a key. We have so many goddamn boxes. That we need to fucking do. Jesus. Yep, and it looks like things got unstickied 
when we got here. I'm gonna go... Yeah, and everyone's still here normal. From the... Hey, we... Bah, bah, bah. I'll just take all my money to do my shopping. Unlock all these boxes. Go see Crow Gunk. See if we can activate the next one. Because it seems to be like we need to talk to somebody or activate a specific thing. Like a certain event and then, like, the post-game stuff happens. This is out to appraisal. How much? 2,000, basically. Quick, quick, quick! We're gonna have to talk so much. And so, it is revealed within the boxes were a Wabu Sweat, a Cleffa Claw, a Yellow Gummy, a Reviver Seed, a Reviver Seed, a Clear Gummy, a Clear Gummy, a Clear Gummy, a Poison Jab, an Aerial Ace. You are giving me nothing? A Lucario... Oh, that, that won't do anything for the boy, because it's Lucario only. Damn it. A Chancy Card, a Trick Thorn. All right. Well, let's see. Will it actually say only works for Lucario? I know it says Lucario specific. Nope. Benefits Rialu and Lucario. Booyah. That's super awesome. We actually got a thing out of that. I wonder if it stacks with the other ones. I don't know. <laughs> what rank are you right now? Diamond. I ought to be a diamond. Blah, blah, blah. I guess I'll take some apples. Buy some apples. And then I'll have like no room. Is there going to be somebody just walking out here? No, it is not. Damn it. Is there anybody on the beach besides the Wurmple team? Mm, nope. Will they be at the guild? Or will we have to do another mission before they show up? Or will they be here at Spinda's Bar? Huh. Nobody asking for missions. Why does it feel like all the explorer teams are just disappearing? I will drink this. I need to get crunk. Shake it this way. Shake it that way. And stir it all around and it's done. More. Like, unless we did all of our... <laughs> unless all the post game is just done, but I doubt it. Because I think there's still more. Oh yeah, an Orenberry. We'll have to put that away so it's like we don't accidentally use it in the heat of the moment. I'm fairly certain I'd be able to go, that's an E, not an A, but you never know. I'm dumb sometimes. I've got a good feeling about this one. You get that I IQ up there, boy. Let's see, another clear gummy for moi. Nope, still got Destiny Tower. I mean, like, story-ish post-game. I don't mean just, like, hey, suffer post-game. I'm not a fan of just, like, hey, here's a big thing. I like ones that's more character-driven. Shaman Village, go find Scizor, go with Team Charm to Aegis Cave, stuff like that. Manaphy, all the Manaphy stuff. Like I said, my least favorite part of the post-game of, uh, Rescue Team was the Go Fight Legendary. And God, did I hate, like, the whatever Ancient Ruin or whatever it was called. That was just, here's a hundred levels, fight the Reggies, get a music box. Because I think that's all that it was, was a music box at the end, and you could lose the music box. And I think it's purely just there so that you can recruit Mew that spawns on a select few levels of that ancient Rylak Baggity Bear. I hated it. Disliked it quite a bit, yes. 
have my poison berry. Yeah, because, like, even the... ba ba da ba Even the secret mission... Or secret rake... Go here, do this missions don't really super interest me. Team Charm, nope, just talking about Team Charm some more. And nope, we'll have to probably go do another mission mission. Probably. I guess we can read Bidoof's uh, diary. <laughs> Bidoof's yip yip journal. Oof. Seems like it's been a mighty long time since I apprenticed at this here guild. I get so frustrated being so klutzy and slow. Yip yip. Don't I know it? I'm a slow worker and it takes me longer to learn than others. Oof. I sure miss my home and folks. Yip yip. But. I can't be what I want to be if I admit defeat now. No siree, by golly. Yep, yep, I have my big dream. I'm surely going to become a first-class explorer. Yep, and that's why I've started this here diary. It's a way for me to keep track of what I'm made of. Yep, 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 yep. Tomorrow, I'll hold my head up high. I'll get things done. We'll just read a few. Oh, I did that again, man. Happy time. Yep, yep, I'm happy by golly. Oh, why am I so downright happy? Well, finally, finally I've got junior members under me. Oof, this is some kind of wonderful. And the two are both so friendly and kind. I feel so lucky, yep, yep. I've got to set a good example for my new pals. I have to be better, yep, yep. Yeah, I'll do better starting tomorrow. Ain't that always it? Tomorrow I'll be better. I, I didn't realize it. After you take jobs on the job bulletin board and outlaw notice board to actually do them, you need to use take job on your job list. I didn't know that, so I went to dungeons without first activating the jobs without take job command, by golly. Oof, it's no wonder why I could never do my job since I got to a dungeon. I finally understand why Chadot's always so upset with me, by golly. You poor bastard. Sunflower is some kind of awesome. Yep, yep, I went exploring with Sunfloor the other day. It turns out Sunfloor is a real expert at fighting in dungeons. When an enemy is just out of reach, she doesn't move toward it. Instead, she uses A to launch a regular attack, striking at nothing. Then the enemy usually spends that turn closing the distance on her. And then on her next turn, she's the first one close enough to hit. Yep, yep, she sure knows what she's doing, by golly. Why, I wanted to whoop and holler when I saw her use that a trick so thrilling. <laughs> As for me, I always rush into a fight. That's why I end up being first to get hit. But it's all right, I reckon. I know the way to do it now and can explore better. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, swap shop time. And then we'll probably check our jobs and stuff. And uh, see if another day passing will do anything. Another emit ring, but I don't think that really does much. Dusk all rough. Darn you. Where is the dark motherfucking shit, man? The swap shop has only given me Rialu stuff. I feel discriminated against. Let's see, is there any other landslide caves in here? Hmm. Interesting. The reward is question mark, question mark. I wonder if that means they just give me an egg or, rec or recruit right out the gate. Uh, no landslide. There is a crystal crossing, like, uh, diddly D. Hmm. Surrounded Sea at level 13. I don't remember Surrounded Sea not being too bad. So I guess I'll take that we can do at some point. Then I guess I'll take a Tree Shroud Forest Wretched Jinx as well that we can do at some point. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 
We'll just quickly double check our inventory. Uh, give all our money back, or at least most of our money back. Oh, darn you. Yeah, I'll just keep a thousand on me just in case. Oh, never mind. I'm double fool. There we go. It's so much easier when you do it that way. See? Nothing new, nothing new. Oh, you could do some... Oh, yes, yeah, sentry duty. I forgot. Yeah, let's do sentry duty. It's been a long time. That's a good suggestion. Because it's been a bit since we've done sentry duty. Hope that doesn't mean that I go in and just get absolutely blasted by it. I do like that they give you the option to do, to do it. It's just, it's nice, because before it was just a random thing, but now you can choose to do it. But all right, then, Loud Dread, we are here to do things. Hey, I heard you two solve the mysteries of Aegis Cave. Impressive! Huh? Say what? You want to earn some pay pulling sentry duty? Here you are, famous explorers and all, but you want to pull sentry duty? I can't say I understand why. Whatever. So you want to go on sentry duty? Yes. Look at the footprints on the top screen, okay? Then identify the Pokemon. You can only get two wrong, okay? Here comes a Pokemon. Uh... Wismer, I assume? It sends a tape, starts crying. Definitely Wismer. I didn't know exactly, so I didn't want to play it safe. Come on in, visitor! Yep, looks like you got it right! Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint. Tell me what it is! Hippodon, Puchiana, Delkitty, Squirtle, um... Maybe a Hippodon, but I'm gonna... Wait, it's a bite. Damn it. Puchiana? Dang it. The footprint's Puchiana's! It's a freaking Hippo. The Hippos are the ultimate bite Pokemon. Here comes a Pokemon! Dunfan, Bulbasaur, Pidgey, Ivasaur. You, 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 you're cheating there! It's a seed Pokemon. That's bullshit, man. They're both... It, it, it fits both of them. Here comes the Pokemon. Check out its footprint. Starly, Politoed, Meganium. I assume Starly. The footprint is Starly's. Here you Come in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Um, Gallade? I assume Gallade, but I'm going to wait. I swore if it said Scythe, I was going to be angry. Heard you come in, visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon you got. Uh, Rhyhorn, Seedot, Spinda, Squirtle. I assume Rhy... Oh, it could be Seedot. It's a Spikes Pokemon. Give me more, please. <laughs> Again, I just, like, I was very scared. <laughs> Not my best performance. With that freaking Bulbasaur, Ivysaur bullshit. No more visitors! No more visitors! Okay, got that! Hey, Silas and Neon! That's all for today! Now get back here! You worked an honest day. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Your results were... Well, well, well! Perfect! You identified every visitor correctly! Excellent! He did it! Your effort will suddenly be rewarded. The reward will be special, too. You two deserve a specially generous selection of rewards. $300. And a defense scarf. Neat. And a reviver seed. I'll take that. But that's not the end of it. A hail seed! When I, the, revi the revival seed was... <laughs> Is it really okay to be rewarded this much? You two keep up that work. Huzzah! I also like that we see that, that little cheering animation. Again, I really like that you can do that. Like, again and again. You get b uh, bonuses for high scores. That I do know. But yeah, I just like that they introduce it as a thing you can do. And then, like, they give you the option to continue doing it. As just a thing to do. It's a fun minigame. A little cheatsy there with, like, we're gonna have two of the same evolution line that are basically indistinguishable from one another. That's kind of mean. 
I wonder if there's somebody insane enough that's just like, I'm gonna just throw out a stream of doing nothing. 24 hour. Only. <laughs> only doing sentry duty. If somebody out there would be insane enough to do it. Just quickly check and make sure. I guess we could also try the dojo if we really wanted to. Hmm. The Swallow, Wurmple. There haven't been many bottles on the beach lately. Anybody at Spenda's Cafe? All the cafe haven't returned from Sky Peak yet. As long as they don't become missing Pokemon. Well, that wasn't really funny. Oh, I guess everybody is just really liking Sky Peak. Is there, like, where is the activation for... Because uh, unless... Hmm, unless I'm meant to do something. We can also check the swap shop. Swamp, stream, emit ring, valiant. <laughs> Every you just have everything that just everything. I guess maybe we could grab Yeah, Rialu card, Valiant Rock. And then I guess the another emit ring in preparation for maybe an ultimate reward for trading in all the Rialu items, maybe. I guess I could do that. Just all the Rialo items in there. But no items for me! Sky Peak may be the next place you go to. Maybe, but the... Spinda Cafe has been empty for a long time now. And... I guess I'll grab the emit ring because getting another from Valiant Rock will be simpler. But yeah, it's just like it feels like. But I guess maybe we could go back to Sky Peak. But I just have. It, it doesn't feel like it would roll with like what the other like things have been. Then again, another Rialu card is like easier to get than a Valiant Rock. Let me quickly check your view list for Silas. Let's see, Emit Ring, Lucario Fang. Oh, oh a Pledge Rock. Just so many things that you can get. But then when it comes to me, just like he's had none of my four things! Four things! And he's had none of them. Like, maybe we could go to Sky Peak, because Sky Peak wasn't that, like, super difficult, I don't think. But it's mostly that, like, the other, uh, ba 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 like, post-game things that we've done have all been initiated by, like, somebody else. Like, we talk to somebody and they'd say, oh, hey, this is going on. We'd go to talk to somebody else and that would activate the, oh, hey, things. So I don't know. Feels weird. Hmm. Well, I guess we're good. You might need a higher rank? Maybe. I have a guide that I brought up just in case. I'll quickly scan it. Let's see. Manaphy, do a job going to the next day. Talk to Sunflora. The Aegis Cave. Let's see. Boss battle. After you defeat them all, you'll examine the red monument and get to the concealed ruins. Ba ba ba. Hmm. It just says, do job, go on to next day. 
do job go on to next day? I wonder if I literally have to do a job. <laughs> we have landslide cave stuff. Then again, it's also possible all fine. Oh, wait, no. Find grass gummy. Not that. Uh -huh. We'll quickly uh, maybe see what seeds we have. Let's see. Uh, we have totter seed and sleep seed. That should be enough for the shed ninja bastard. But yeah. It would be kind of funny if it literally is do job and not go out on an expedition. Specifically. That would be an interesting trigger like specificity to it. But we'll try it. Who knows? Maybe. Then again, like I was saying, could also be. Oh, uh, oh, we did activate. I'm gonna just quickly check. Bye -bye. But it could also be that that guide isn't fully, like, correct, and it's missing some minutia. But landslide cave. We've gone there before. Let's go there again. It's a simple one. <laughs> one item on this floor. Silas back at it with the overkill. But we shall try, as the guide says, and do job move on to next day. I just love the music of these games. I do have to admit that, like, the story music of, like, Time Gear, the, uh, what is it? I forget the specific name of the track, but the one that plays when you're first entering the Hidden Land. That one's also... Basically, all of the, like, Time Gear motif songs in the Hands of Fate. Dialga's Fight to the Finish. Just so many good songs. I need to make sure I pay attention and don't just blindly go up, uh stairs and miss, like, the jobs. Six items. Mm. I'll try and find all these items. Do some item finding. It could also be that maybe the game won't tell me when I'm on the floor of the grass gummy and I'm supposed to rem rem rememberize it. I do find it interesting how some of the dungeons tra uh, change track of song, like, mid-dungeon. Like, each floor. Oh, hello, Ampros. I'm gonna kill you. Goodbye, Ampros. Give me that one belly. You fucker, die! I wonder if Pokémon in this game have, like, an avoidance stat. So, like, the higher ratio, hit ratio you have on an attack, the more likely it is to hit compared to a Pokemon's, like, a dodge stat or something. I think that would be an interesting, like, dynamic difficulty idea. That way, enemies with lower evasion, like are more likely to be hit by your super powerful attacks, which at the same time <laughs> kind of makes it a bit meaningless because, like, your super powerful attacks would probably have annihilated low-level enemies anyway, but eh, it's the thought that counts. The thought of annihilating your foes. But if this once again doesn't do anything and we need to do stuff, we might go to Sky Peak since he specifically did mention. But I'm not sure what would be triggered by. Oh, hey, Outlaw! Shininja. What? You threw the fucking wall? That's. No! Oh, because it's a fucking ghost. All right. Silas, I want you to uh, wait here. I'm going to fucking put on a mobile scarf and I'm going to go fuck this outlaw. 
You better still be in that wall. But why the fuck? Hello, bitch. This is bad design. I'm sorry, but it is. This is so stupid. Just outlaws should not be able to go through fucking walls. Where the fuck did you go? Game. Why? Why is this designed like this? And you can go through fucking walls. It's so bad. It's so bad. I hate this. They should not be able to go through walls. It's a waste of everybody's time. Especially because these assholes are trying to escape. Will you fuck off, game? I don't even know where he is. This is so dumb. I hate this. I have to be like, oh, you're getting dizzy through hunger. Yeah, because you're forcing me to do this game. This is bad design. I hate this. I don't even know where he is. I don't even know where he is. I don't know where he is anymore. Also, these Pokemon are meant to have one HP. Yeah, but because he's an outlaw, he gets buffed, I guess. Oh, hey, this is a bastard, but he goes through walls. And there's no vision in this goddamn dungeon, because that is fucking fair, I guess. So he can just move in any direction. I hate this. Oh, I hate this so much. It's just, he's meant to be an outlaw game. <laughs> he's not even dead yet. Your belly is empty. Yeah, because I have to... This is fucking bullshit, man. I don't even know what the fuck to do. He's just gone through the fucking walls. And probably because I put Silas next to the stairs, he's just not ever going to come out. And there's vision limitations, so you're kind of fucked. I should just take off the mobile scarf. I'm never going to fucking find him that way. Basically, I kind of have to just... I don't know, spam rocks randomly. Oh, hey, it's the fucker. Finally. No, because we still need to find that grass gummy. God, that's so stupid. I hate it. I'm sorry, but no. You should not ever, ever, ever have an objective that goes through walls and is running away. Just no. Never. <laughs> Illegal. To the dungeon. For eternity. It would... I get. I could have used maybe agility. Maybe. But it's just like... I don't know. Bleg. I didn't think of it. Because I figured the game would be nice. But yeah, it is kind of bullshit that the game was like... Hey, here's this uh, enemy that normally only has one HP. By the way, uh, he has like 100 HP. He can go through walls, and he's going to run away for eternity. I feel like it's kind of stupid. I think you could have uh, designed better there, game. <laughs> like, I kind of understand it because it's probably just the outlaw modifier put onto a Pokemon, so like... Oh, you, you fight this Pokemon, it's an outlaw, so therefore has decent HP, so that no matter what Pokemon it is or what dungeon it is, it's an outlaw. But still, 
you could at least not make it aggravating. Especially because there was just no way to track them through the walls because of, like, vision limitations. Like, I would like it if it was like, oh, you see the outlaw, you can track them no matter what. So you, at least you know where they are, so you can try to ambush them or something. Just anything. Anything at all. To make it slightly less aggravating. Well, find that gummy, and then we're just teleporting out. I had to waste so many apples. At least I have a ton of apples. But God, that's just frustrating, man. You're mocking me, aren't you? Putting the stairs right there. I can't believe that Grand Bull was cringe. And now we're level 50. Once again, no grinding! I wonder what the perfect apple would do from a gameplay perspective. Kill him. Murder that Amphros for his evil ways of getting in my way, the bastard. Yes, let's get out of here before... I don't know. A god comes to smite me. You brought him. Give him the death penalty. Death penalty now. All that for 30 rescue... Like, 30 explorer points. But in a full day, I'm exhausted. I had to stand there next to those stairs for so long. <laughs> it is do job. Why is it ominous? We live in Sharpedo Bluff. This is hub. Do not storm us. We don't even have windows. It sounds like a storm is coming. It's been a long time since the last storm. It's been quiet for a good while now. So, in a way, a storm would be refreshing. You know, our big adventure, when we stopped the destruction of time, it already feels like it happened a long time ago. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, by your standards, it's been like a few months already. Yes, it does feel that way. Going to the future with Silas, fighting Dialga at Temporal Tower. Now that I think about it, it does feel like all those things were a long time ago. Now that time has returned to normal, and peace has come to the world. It reminds me that, because time returned to normal, it became possible for everyone to evolve at Luminous Spring again. Everyone but us, that is. We were told that we can't evolve at Luminous Spring. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I just thought it was gameplay contrivance. I remember it clearly. Why can't I evolve? Why can you not evolve? It may be influenced by a distortion in the fabric of space. Distortion? The fabric of space? Are we gonna go fight a, a bitch-ass, uh, Palkia? Why that should be, I do not know. We don't even know what this guardian of Luminous Lake is. But your presence is somehow related to the distortion of space itself. And as a result of that, you cannot evolve. No. It is not only you. There is yet another. The one behind you is also forbidden its evolution. What? Neon 2? We were told by Silas and I can't evolve yet. We were told that, they were, uh, that there was a distortion in the fabric of space that prevented our evolution. But what does a distortion in the fabric of space even mean? Time is back to normal, but... Maybe some things are still out of whack. Ah! Lightning! I think the storm's getting closer. We should get some sleep now. Good night, Neon. I wonder if we're gonna get, like, dive into that. Hello, the Dark Rye! This is proceeding nicely. This forest's distortion and the very fabric of space itself is growing. 
Ah, the distortion of space and dimension itself. If it expands further, my own power will be amplified. I failed to destroy... Time? I didn't think they would actually dive into this. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. I failed to destroy time. But things will be different now. Hmm? Someone's coming. It's Cresselia. That persistent pest. I must not be caught. Not ever. I wonder what future Darkrai, then, is pondering about, like, damn it, they fixed time here, too. <laughs> I wonder if that means that Grovile and Koa went to kick the ass of Darkrai, too. He got away again. This is the closest that I've ever gotten. But he always slips away. It may be difficult, perhaps impossible to catch him. No, I can't give up. He has to be caught. And the fabric of space being distorted like this must stop before it accelerates further. Before the world is thrown back into turmoil. I've got to do whatever it takes. I must stop Darkrai. All right, interesting. Ha! Huh. Okie dokie. Looks like the storm blew over. The weather has cleared up. Here's to another good day of exploring, Neon. Ha! Huh. I guess maybe we do another job and then, like, story continuation? Oh, look, it's the Pokemon I thought that looked like my brother when I was younger. <laughs> I wonder why you think your brother would look like that. Ba -ba 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 we have a decent amount of money, so we can, like, check out the swap shop, even though it's not gonna have anything of mine. Yeah. We'll check out the swap shop. Oh, hey, people moved around. Uh, they wonder... They, they moved around, but nothing actually changed. But interesting. I didn't actually expect them to actually go into why things happened. Just more things for the boy, but none for fucking me. Sadness. Pain. Let's explore together. No. Never. I would have done that Crystal Crossing, too, because we have another Crystal Crossing thing. But I think we might just do a, a simple one, maybe. Let's see. Concealed ruins at level 15. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I might just do a simple one, one of the ones we have, and... We'll see. <laughs> this game just spoon-feeds you the post-game, which I kind of enjoy. Because it's kind of like, I personally like that because it makes it feel more like a game. <laughs> like more of the game rather than just like, and again, fiery drum. The other thing was a symbol. They are just like building a band. But yeah, like, uh, I actually really do enjoy that the game, like it gives you more story stuff to do. Rather than just, like, oh, go here, fight legendary Pokemon. There is actual story going on. Maybe... <laughs> so we'll quickly check the beach in case of... I don't know. And nothing. So we'll quickly check the village once more, manage our inventory a little bit. Definitely throw on more apples because of that fucking Shinija. And then... But yeah, it seems like people moved around a little bit. But not much. What 
What do you have in the Kecleon shop, Kecleon? A reviver seed. <gasps> Black gummy. Yes, give me. Fifty-five billion people are going to die. Then I laugh in their face. He 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 he. he. And uh, we definitely need more apples. And. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Blah. Ding da dong, ding da ding da ding da ding da ding da ding da dong. A few more apples for the gold. A few more apples. And then maybe, I don't know, let's see, a buddy. Dee da dee da. There's, I guess, a stun seed just in case. Da do da do. Bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Seems like Shininja needs the evil eye stare. Oh, honestly, Joker might have fit that rant. Uh, Persona Joker or Batman Joker? Because <laughs> uh, every single time I hear somebody talk about Joker, sometimes I need to remember there's more than one Joker now. There's more than one Joker that's in popular culture. <laughs> Black gummy juice. And still didn't raise my IQ enough. Batman Joker <laughs> talking about five billion dead people. Don't you see, Batman? I see five billion dead people! That's because you haven't taken your meds, Joker. Well, actually, it's because I haven't had my Snickers. Batman. We'll take this trench bluff just so we can get out of our inventory. We're going to take a blast seed. I say bless you even though if it's a cough, and I hate when people say it's a cough. <gasps> yeah. Because sometimes, like, it's violent exhalation against your will. It doesn't really matter too much. If it's violent enough, it's violent enough, you know. Doo -doo -doo. We have literally one blast seed. It is a miracle. Well, Joker's persona is usually referred to outside of missions as Akira. Yeah. Does he do cool bike slides? Well, let's just quickly do this drenched bluff. See if more post-game happens. Wow, this is literally the second dungeon in the game. We can just steamroll this. <laughs> Bomb received. Also, Akira does not. Like the, the actual movie Akira or game Akira. I missed this song. It's a nice song. How dare you mud slap the boy. Die. We are here to bully these basically baby Pokemon. Silly baby dungeon Pokemon. We're here to kill you. <laughs> the Persona game character. <laughs> There's just not enough names in the universe anymore. You call a guy blim blam blah, 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 and somebody's gonna be like, oh, from Skibbity Toilet, and immediately need to be executed. Executions for very special people. I still have no idea what the hell Skibbity Toilet even is. I can only assume that it's a poor bastardization of the Scatman's legacy. Considering that's the closest thing to, like, skibbity dup 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 From the classic song. I forget exactly what it is. I think it might be called Scatman's World. I just know that it's... 
Why does everyone want to join? I know that you're, like, super low level and, like, wanting to die, but still. The, the hell is that? I have no idea. Fun fact, did you see the skit about Joker finding a little bunny? <laughs> Uh, hey, Batman, I, I caught a Pokemon, Batman. Yes, it's a, it's a law punny, Batman. No, no, Joker. Uh, there's no laws against the Pokemon, Batman. I can do what I want. Joker, no. Joker, I'm going to do it, Batman. Apparently, that was just, like, completely improvised by a streamer playing, like, I think, Warzone or something. Utter talent. Especially how he just jumped back and forth between Joker and Batman. So legendary that there were like five million animatics and animations made of that meme animation. <laughs> well, of that meme-ish sounds. <laughs> just the fact that it's improv. Just absolutely masterful. The guy didn't skip a beat for any of it. They've made a swiper one from Toro the Explorer. At least it kind of makes more sense. Swiper's already like a fox. Now I'm imagining Swiper as a Dell fox. Might you please duck? Die. Die. <laughs> and now I'll use the instant hit die. I don't care about being slapped in the face by mud. I will kill you anyway. How does that even function, faint attack, if you're, like, blinded by mud? Do you just, like, through my power, my body hones in on yours and you die? <laughs> now I'm imagining, like, a Dora the Explorer comedy comic. Well, you see, Dora, I don't really like you. Uh, assuming my intentions anymore, I have gotten a new job at the Pokemon Company. I am going to be a magician. I'm I'm going to swipe away people's hearts on stage, okay? And there's going to be a lot of people that, 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 that really like my body uh, more than they already do. Here you go, Chingling. You d deranged bastard. He's going to blow up an orphanage. Thank you for delivering the blast seed. And you want to join. Fine, you can join. You, you're going to you're going to blow up an orphanage while right when we're under your under your you're, when you're under our employ. All more, yes. Exactly what I wanted. Those were some nice clouds. And now it's sweeping. Please don't kidnap us. Oh, uh, uh, dude, what, 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 what? Personality quiz! Personality quiz! Personality quiz, background and music! What are you doing here? This... is this... is this a dream? Oh, there's someone here. I think that's like dialogue lifted straight out of Rescue Team. Who is it? I am... I am Cresselia. C Cresselia? Your... your very existence is pushing the world toward ruin. Fuck you, Dialga made me back again. I have God's blessing. The world to ruin? How am I doing that? Because you are in this world. Because you exist here. Uh, uh, uh. They already pulled this in Rescue Team. Gengar was a bastard on that. I, why should I trust you? Like, I know that you're probably against Darkrai. And you might think that maybe Darkrai had something to do with me being here. But again, Dialga's blessing, bitch. If you remain, the world will be destroyed. And what do you want me to do about it? Dialga's blessing! <gasps> What was that? Oh, we actually said that out loud. Silas is asleep. I guess 
That was a dream? What a strange dream, though. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. It's not even dawn. I'll get more sleep. Like... I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Should we... Come on, Zorwa me. Tell Silas about the dream. Oh, yeah. The weather's great today again. Let's do a good... Let's do good again today, Neon. Tell your boyfriend about the freaky deaky dream. Cresselia basically insisting you commit self-deletion. Oh, that would be horrifying. <coughs> like, I don't think she said it just yet, but that would be one hell of a leap for her. Like, she begins being like, listen, you being here is bad for the world. That's one thing. But again, it's just like, I have the blessing of the big boy. I have the blessing of the time god. If anything, like, space isn't being distorted by my existence. Time should, because, hey. Yeah, I guess we'll wander around, see if there's anything else. Uh, do another job, I guess, to quickly come back again. I doubt... I almost... I don't... Like, I guess maybe if we do sentry duty, maybe we might try sentry duty for giggles. Hello, Polipper. What'll I do? Oh, Team Live got something I want to ask you. Pineco took something of mine, and I'd really like it if you could get back for me. In Zero Isle, fuck off. Like, I'm sorry, dude, but no. I'm like, I saved the world. Give me a bloody break. It's like, besides, again, you have a problem with my existence? Bring it up with Dialga. Dialga is the one that brought me back. I have Dialga's blessing. And again, it's not my fault that space is going biggity bog. I guess we could just do Tree Shrub Forest, unless there's like a super easy one. Help in my Pokemon search. Sure, let's let's just do another quick D rank. Why not? What's wrong with Zero Isle? It is the challenge dungeon from hell. It is the one that Team AWD said they underestimated, and it's being evil to them. I'm just gonna make sure I save again, just in case. Save. Remember to always save, and stay hydrated, everybody. Oh, and, ah, and it's a 99 floor dungeon. Granted, I wouldn't have to do it all, I just have to get to the job, and then I can teleport out with them. But still, 99 floor dungeons are from hell. Wait, I want, I want to see more. I want to see where this story is going. I do kind of like that they're, like, giving you the story in between normal missions. I do like it. And also, gotta say, this is my favorite kind of post-game. Because it is also... Like... Bah, bah, bah. What's the word? It's just like the Manaphy quest line, where it's like multiple things. Like, maybe you can choose to do your own thing, progress a story. Maybe it'll tell me to go to a specific place. Like, I'm really liking it. And I want more. I want more of this here story. Especially because things are weird. Darkrai existing. And, like, I know next to nothing about Darkrai and Cresselia. Like, I, I out of all of the legendary Pokemon, they're some of the ones that I know the least about. We already have a Chingling, and he wasn't being a bastard about us. Get out of here. Our Chingling joined because he wanted to. Through admiration, not violence. You slut.
Okay, it's just like I because apparently, like again, Darkrai apparently tried to destroy time. That's a bombshell. And yeah, yeah it kind of makes sense. They never explained what exactly was happening. Like with that. Dialgo was just going mad. They needed to put the time gears into the tower because the tower was collapsing. Oh, hey, Torterra. Uh, it's been a bit since we've seen one of you. I almost forgot that I've seen one of you. And these guys are just handing out peck scarves like crazy. Darkrai is... Cresselia is the Pokemon of dreams. Darkrai is the devourer of dreams. So he wants to, to devour Cresselia, does he? Well, another dream time, I guess. Again, kind of horrifying that it's using the personality quiz rescue team dreamscape. Again? Am I dreaming again? Oh, that's... The bitch. Like, listen, I know that you're fighting. Like, go fight Darkrai. Why are you... Why are you attacking me? What was it again? Cresselia? Cresselia, please tell me more about what you said last time. You said that my existence is driving the world toward ruin. What did you mean by that? You are a human who came from the future. And because of Dialga's power, like, are you, ooh, what, it, what, it, what, oh, oh, are you going to say that technically I traveled through space and time to end up where I am because I didn't exist in this past, so when I came here... I was displaced through time and space, and even though we, like, knocked Dialga upside the head and fixed time, my presence here is pressing upon Palkia's powers because I haven't been blessed by Palkia. Is that what it is? Because I have Dialga's blessing, so time is fine with my paradoxical existence. But space-wise, huh? And I guess things are kind of wrong because... We did, like, uh, get rejected by Luminous Spring. Uh. You are a human who came from the future. You are not of this world. That is creating the distortion in the fabric of space. Distortion in the fabric of space? And if this distortion of space were to expand, this world would be ruined. The distortion of space will ruin the world. You are a presence that must not exist in this world. You must not be here. Wait, please tell me more. I, I think you're actually right. I think she is telling me to commit, commit Minecraft. Oh. I can't. Fading away. Zoro and me, talk to Silas. Talk to Silas. Before you do something wrong! Hey, Neon. Come on, Neon. Wake up, Neon. It's morning already. Uh, uh. Hey, look at this. The weather's great again. I. I had a dream again. It felt strangely real for a dream, though. I was told. I can't exist in this world. Dialga's blessing! Again, since they're talking about distortion in space, maybe we need to go talk to Palkia to fix this. In my dream, Cresselia said, if the distortion in the fabric of space expands, the world will be ruined. Oh, the distortion of space! We heard that somewhere before! Frickin' Luminous Spring. Why can you not evolve? It may be influenced by a distortion in the fabric of space. <laughs> That's Silas' sad portrait. Yeah, he was kind of worried about us not waking up. He's like, oh, this is odd. I was told I was somehow connected to the distortion of space. I heard that at Luminous Spring. In that case, what I heard about my existence ruining the world, maybe, maybe it's true. Merely by existing here, I might cause the world's destruction. Is that what I am here? Why are you daydreaming? It's not like you, Neon. Come on, let's see some energy, Neon. 
Silas is even peppier than usual. But Silas could be right. It's not for sure that I'm going to destroy the world. <laughs> he did, you, you could just tell him, because that's not what he said at all. He would probably still say it, because he is right or die. But <laughs> you are interpreting things there, me. There's no point feeling sorry for myself. I gotta cheer up. <laughs> yes, that's the Neon I know. Let's make this another big day, Neon. Hello, hold up. It's big trouble, by golly. Uh-oh. I'm glad I caught you. I reckon you were about ready to go out for the day. <sighs> What's wrong, Bidoof? Why are you in such a hurry? There's trouble afoot, little Azuril. The little Azuril is in trouble. Motherfucker, Dark Rai, you fucking with the boy? What? Azuril is in trouble? They brought the little fella to the guild. Let's hurry, Neon. Fuck. <laughs> Talk, damn you, Neon. That's what I'm saying. Uh, hey, Azuril. Is he all right? There seems to be no danger to his life, but... What happened to him? He's been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping, but he won't wake up. What? He won't wake up? Yes. I tried waking him over and over, but he's still asleep. I got worried, so I brought him to the guild. Uh, mm. He seems to be tormented by something. He's been like that the whole time he's been asleep. It's like he's suffering. Is he having a bad dream? Hey, hey, that could be it. The way the little fellow is tossing and turning. It looks like he's having a nightmare. Hey, hey. Hey, Chadot, do you know how we can wake up Azuril? Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm fresh out of ideas, too. To be locked in a nightmare and able to wake for days on end. I've never heard of such a thing. Since he's asleep, we can't feed him anything like berries. Uh, we're at our wit's end trying to come up with the cure. Go to Spinda's Cafe! Feed him some slushy! Oh no, a way of getting rid of a nightmare! Hey, hey, hey! Are we going to bring in frickin' Drowsy to Dream Eater? Is that what we're gonna do? Uh, um, um, everyone, can I say something? What is it, Badoof? I got to thinking, since we can't make the nightmare go away, if we somehow figure out what kind of nightmare he's having, maybe we can figure out why that little Azuril can't wake up, by golly. All right, so we should look into Azuril's dreams. How do we do that? Look inside a dream! Yipes, gosh. I'm sorry. Actually, that might be possible. What? Hey, hey! How do you do how do you do that? We find Drowsy. If any I I actually called it, hey! We find Drowsy. If anyone can do it, Drowsy can. Drowsy? I know that name somehow. Th that's it! Remember Neon? We fought Drowsy! Actually warranted flashback. We won't let you do that! Drowsy, you bully! How did you find this place? I actually remember the voice I gave him. We have been able to arrest a wanted outlaw. We owe you great thanks for your cooperation. We will send the reward to your guild. Thank you again. Now come with us. Aww. Yeah, that's him! Drowsy. He's that outlaw, the first one we ever caught. But why Drowsy? This is just rumor, mind you. But they say that Drowsy has the amazing ability to enter others' dreams. Really? He can enter dreams? It's strictly rumor. I couldn't vouch for its truth. However, the possibility exists. Okay, I get it. So if we were to ask Drowsy, maybe he'll be able to get into Azuril's nightmare. Hey, Magnemite. Well, what became of Drowsy after you guys arrested him? Drowsy was subjected to intense grinning by Officer Magnazone. He expressed remorse. He vowed never to break the law again. So he... <laughs> that... The dude kidnapped a child. <laughs> so he released him. Hey, hey! But did he really straighten out? Sounds really sketchy. Hey, hey! Corfish, now is no time to be quibbling over that. So where is Drowsy now? Z he has gone away to cleanse his mind and spirit. He stated that he would study self-discipline on Mount Travail. Mount Travail? That would be a mountainous region. Okay, so that's where Drowsy is now. 
We have to go, Neon. Off to Mount Travail. Oh, Silas. Wait for us, Meryl. We promise we'll come back of drowsy. Silas, you always, always help us. Thank you so much. It's decided, then. We'll leave this matter to Team Lost Light. Everyone is worried about Azuril, but let's have Team Lost Light handle it. Everyone else should go on as usual. All right, everyone, time to work. Hooray! You're in charge of finding Drowsy. Don't fail us. Okay, let's move it. We're off to Mount Travail. Let's find Drowsy. Jesus. Neon and Silas, you always, always help us. Thank you so much. Robo has it that Drowsy can enter dreams. We obtained the Drowsy's help, we may be able to do do do. So let's go. Very, very cool that, like, this is, like, actually going. Oof, what's happening to that little Azuru is worrisome. Do you have anything for me, Crow Gunk, you whore? Rialu card. Nope. Nothing for me. But yeah, this this is the kind of post game that I love. Hey, hey, you have to find Drowsy. Mount Travail is on the to the east of here. Good luck. We'll quickly check our inventory and stuff. See if anybody has anything to say. That poor little Azuril. It's quite worrisome. To be locked in a nightmare for days on end, I've never heard of such a thing. I discovered there's something I find more desirable than the golden apple, and that is the lost loot. We've heard rumors that incredibly valuable lost loot is buried somewhere. Do you know anything of it? We've been on the hunt for the golden apple, but we've given up. My partner Murkrow has no patience or endurance for searches. Are you guys going to disappear too someday? We heard that Drowsy's hold up on Mount Travail. Drowsy? All right, that petty crook. The rumor is that Drowsy is reformed for sa er, and forsaken his criminal past, but I have to wonder. Like what, is he just voodoo dolling? Azuril from Mount Travail is just like, I'll get that child for daring to go against me. Like a psychopath. We'll go eat the, the gummies at Spindus Kaffa, and then we're gonna go to Mount Travel! <coughs> Use Grass Whistle Fool. I don't think anybody. Da oh, wait. Would Sunflora know Grass Whistle? Sky Peak was so much fun. I wonder where I'll explore next time. Whoa, finally back! You guys have been gone for like months. I'm done climbing the mountain for now. I'll just relax for a bit. It's become pretty busy in here now that everyone's back. I haven't returned in a while. I wanted a Sky Gift, so I've been exploring Sky Peak for some time. I'll take the grass gummy. Let's get weed. How long have we been going? We've been going for three hours. Huh. I guess maybe we could end because then there might be a decent amount of story stuff. Like if this is like Manaphy, there might actually be a decent amount of story stuff afterwards. Yeah, we've been going for three hours, so we probably should stop. Because, I mean, we did all of Aegis Cave. We didn't did technically a bonus run with the Concealed Diddly D. Silas is always getting these. Lucky bastard. But, yeah, we did the Team Charm stuff. Saw, like, did a few missions. Sentry duty. Like, this has been a fruitful stream. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Thank you very much. So yeah, we've been going for three hours, so yeah. <laughs> I was just so wrapped up in like, oh, story time, story time! But we will stop, and next time, we will, I guess, go grab Drowsy, 
and see what the hell is going on and find out, like, why Cresselia is telling us to kill ourselves now rather than go talk to Palkia. Because I figured that would be simpler. Like, hey, if I'm distorting space, let's go talk to the god of space, considering that I saved his brother, the god time man. Yeah. But yeah, the interesting. Darkrai is existing. Cresselia is trying to help, but apparently is being a bitch to me. Huh. Um, yep, Monday will be the next stream at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday. Because I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But yes, this time we went through Aegis Cave with Team Charm, and that was a nice little dungeon run. That was a very nice dungeon run. And then, yeah, it was mostly just working towards all these little story things, which are very, very cool. It's very interesting and cool to, like, have more story stuff that's tied into the main story that already happened. It's very, very cool. I like it. This is the kind of post-game that I love. <laughs> but yes. Thank you very much for stopping by, everybody, and watching. If you want more from me, my link tree has everything that I do. Linktr.ee slash neonicewings or a direct link in the descriptions, bios, and link places of all the various places. So if you want edited videos on YouTube, streams on YouTube or Twitch, watching the VODs of those streams on YouTube, looking at the art like my little character in the corner that I draw and post to various different art and social media sites, or even reading stories that I write, or even perhaps dropping a little dollary do my way onto the kindness of your heart through my Patreon, all links can be found through my link tree. Once again, thank you very much to the people whose efforts went into making this here Explorers of Expanded Sky ROM hack of Explorers of Sky. It's a very fun time. It allows me to be Zoroa Neon. But, yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.